Good morning. It is Sunday. Sunday means it is trapping day. Someone is in heat. Yeah, are you in heat? <sighs> That's been a really fun time. So, so a little girl there because they're, look at these two. Because they are undergoing FIP treatment which means they can't be spayed yet because they're still undergoing the treatment and there's a chance that... I don't know if I have my keys. Hold on. We got keys. There's a chance that the anesthesia or the surgery itself could cause issues with their treatment. So we have to put off spaying until they are older. I don't know if it's gonna be once they're finished with their three month observation period or if it's gonna be like, if we can do it during the observation period, you know what I'm saying? So. We'll see. It's not that bad of a heat, thankfully, for her. She's just very talkative all of a sudden. Today, we have a couple colonies we're hitting. One of them is the colony I've talked about before, the poison colony, which is the cryptid babies colony. Supposedly there's still kittens there. There's another location that we're, there is definitely a kitten that we're gonna get, at least get them fixed and do an age assessment. Yeah, so come along for the journey. This food right here, um, was donated by one of you guys, which is phenomenal. A lot of the people that we help can't really afford to feed these cats, but they do it anyway. And, you know, our rule is if you feed them, we'll come through and fix them. But we kind of want to do more than that. We want to be able to provide them with food as well. Maybe we won't be able to do it all the time, but as like a nice big Christmas present, we want to be able to get them a bunch of wet food and dry food and we're going to build some shelters so that way they can stay safe and warm through some of the colder months here in the south. Um, so if that's something you're interested in helping us with, I have it. it's going to be the first link down below. But for now, let's go catch some cats. It's like my favorite thing to do. Every vlog we do together, I just go trapping. Some people have hobbies, I TNR. Relatable, right? Okay, let's go. So we just pulled up. This is what we're working with. But if you look right here, you might notice there is a little white speck right there. That, my friend, is a kitten. So this is going to be a fun day. Don't see any adults, but hopefully we can get the kittens. But let's go look elsewhere. Little babies, I'm coming for you. So this is where we got the cryptids. They were all right here. So there's lots of stuff over here um, for them to hide and them to be at. I have to go actually across the street, drop off some supplies for one of my team members, and then I will be right back over here to get those babies. So love that for me. Saw your mom, she forgot that I existed and it's half my fault, but I just didn't play the big dumb dream. Of course there's cats behind the Wendy's, you know what I'm saying? Like of course, that makes sense. So also as a bonus, it appears that the cryptid's mom is actually currently eating at the station, which is exciting. A gorgeous torty, and then right over here you can see you can see the little head popping out. Gonna do what I do best, run in there, cause a little chaos, set up the trap, then run back over here and wait. And set up the GoPro because we need footage. Just kidding, that doesn't really matter, but it's for funds. Nobody wants to see that. While we wait, um, and it could be, it could be an hour, it could be 20 minutes, it could be never. It's kind of the joy of TNRing, is we just don't know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna give you a little update on this colony. So this colony, that's like over here in this area, behind us are like three different food shops, and they feed them 
a little bit but primarily there is another gentleman that comes through and he feeds probably 50 to 75 cats in the area at multiple different colonies so we've finally gotten in touch with him so we can start working in collaboration to get all these colonies fixed and help him um, he would be one where all of the food donations would go to because he feeds so many I can't imagine how much that costs him um, and we'd be happy to help so yeah that's the update on this colony there's not a lot of activity during the day because there's usually like cars coming back through here but um, kittens don't know that so hopefully they're curious enough to come out they did obviously run away as I set up the trap naturally but hopefully There's also a gray one, but there also may be multiple groups. But look at those babies. I'm so excited. So honestly, I was thinking like six weeks because I only got a glimpse of them. Um, but these aren't the two that I initially saw. Well, one of them might be, but both of them are not because I definitely saw a gray and white one. Um, these guys look to be like within, between the 10 and 12 weeks. Like it makes me wonder if they were part of the cryptid crew and we just missed them. Or did they not come out of their little hiding spot? So we'll have to see, you know, we've put a pretty hard rule about TNR and cats that are 10 weeks, sorry, that are 8 weeks or older. Like go ahead and just put them back like it is what it is. We just have such an influx, but I'll get a better feel once I'm up close. Um, and if they're sweet, like if they get really sweet really fast, like we're all for that. We got them. Let me show you. It looks like, much like our little cryptid babies, the tuxedo has a bit of an eye issue. So we'll have to drink that. That'll be fun for Bethany. Um, and then the black one, the void, looks fairly healthy. So let, let me show you. Hi, baby. Hello. They're nervous, but I swear I saw a little gray tuxedo too, so we're gonna we've reset the trap. Trap is reset. We're gonna sit back in the vehicle. Sorry, that was a really big close up to my face. <gasps> Nobody wants to see that. Now we're just gonna wait and see if we see anything. Yeehaw, cowboy. Yeehaw. Basically, as we got the kittens in, another one showed up, and this one. I remember distinctly from last time because they kept evading our trap. We're gonna get him today. We're gonna get him. I also bought popcorn because it sounded delicious. Dinner and a show? And snack and a show? Anyway, back to waiting on kittens because I still have not seen the little gray and white one. Where are you kittens? Why can't I find you? Why have you gone away? My world is... No, okay, I'm sorry. The kitten has returned. Where are you, kitten? I saw you. I literally saw his face. You're dead. Gas 
gaslighting me. I just saw it, and now, wherefore art thou kitten? Like I literally blinked and it's gone. The heck, dog? <laughs> Well, that was four. I keep seeing the kittens just like playing in the background. But they don't want to come out. Every one of these adult cats is sick to some degree, so that's shouldn't be too surprised. The cryptids were really bad. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna wait here for forever until we get kittens. It is three hours later, and we finally got the final kitten, at least the final kitten that I know of. I'm pretty sure when I pulled up, I saw the gray and white, and then the all black, and then the tuxedo was a bonus. And then, one of our other volunteers went to another colony where there was a kitten that was basically tossed out from the side of the road, and uh, the caretaker was taking care of her, so we got her other kittens and then a bunch of adults so it was a great day we're gonna go home get the kittens treated do a little intake on them and then get them to Bethany's because uh, she's gonna get some spats of babies we love that for her Wow. All right, let's go have a talk. <laughs> so we were gonna talk about how these guys were gonna go back to the colony because they're older than eight weeks old. They're probably closer to 12 weeks old. And that sometimes that is just what happens with TNR is we find kittens and they're a little bit too old to socialize. So we get them fixed and put them back. However, one of these guys while getting neutered the vet looked at his eye and his eye had ruptured and needed to be removed. And we cannot release a one-eyed kitten back into, yes, the wild. <laughs> so our options were either euthanize the kitten or try to tame them. So they're here and we are trying to tame them. So everybody welcome, I'll give you a little kitten tour. This is Tommy. Tommy, you can tell, is kind of sick. <laughs> he's got quite a bit of eye discharge, but he's on antibiotics, some forced interaction, and he's already purred for me, even though his angie face says otherwise. He did get ear tipped because um, his brother, hold on, his brother Chucky, who is the one who had to have the eye removed, actually went last, so the other two had already been fixed and ear tipped. So Chucky is missing an eye, but not the tip of his ears. I know, I'm sorry. Do you see this? A baby's gotta do what a baby's gotta do. No, no problem. I think he just wants to go to the window, which is over there, because he thinks that's freedom. You can't go anywhere. And then the spiciest of the three, Angelica, who is a void with white ear tufts. 
I can't, she's so precious. She is the most spicy, so I'm gonna put her back. And you guys know me, you generally know how I tame and like to tame kittens. I don't usually like to force them into burritos or force them to do cuddles, but these guys were pretty sick. Um, so they needed a little bit more handling so I could give them their medication and their eye medication. And they just came around pretty fast. So, yeah, we love that for them. Look at this little baby. Okay, that's it for this video. I'll see you on the next one. Tommy says goodbye. Love you, bye.